I want you to imagine that you were born blind, that you could not see, and then one day you wake up and you can see everything. You know what we call that? We call that a revelation. And I had one. I realized that I didn't need the Undisputed Era anymore. As a matter of fact, the Undisputed Era was holding me back. And you know who made me realize that? It was you, Kyle. Fifteen minutes, okay? First time I met Adam Cole. Wow. Um, it's probably been eleven or twelve years. We met backstage at a show, and we hit it off. Uh, little did I know that this man would become both the biggest blessing to my career and the biggest curse. And the first time I met Kyle O'Reilly was back in, uh, back in 2009. And pretty much from that moment going forward, I in some way, shape or form have been attached to Kyle O'Reilly. You know, whether that be as a friend, whether that be as, as opponents, and no matter where it is in the world, Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly have been attached at the hip. We've known each other for a long time. At least I thought we did. When we first got here, we didn't care who we stepped over to succeed. Four hungry pipples determined to take a spot at the top of the card where we belonged. You could say we were shocking the system, but we were making a statement, and we didn't give a damn about whose expense or who was footing the bill. We become better wrestlers. We became better fighters. We became champions. We became stars. But only one of us became a better person. A better human being. Adam Cole is just the same hole that walked into this place three and a half years ago. And I, I keep forcing myself to really, truly believe that the last three and a half years meant nothing. That the Undisputed Era meant nothing. I, I'm forcing myself to, to really, truly believe this because if any part of me thinks for a second that one day you and I could be cool again, I won't do what is necessary to put you down for good. God's sakes, I bought into this BS that the Undisputed Era was about brotherhood. It was never about that, Kyle. I, I sat back and I watched you fail, not once, but twice. You tried to have Finn Balor join the Undisputed Era. Have you lost your mind? And then it all made sense to me. It's because deep down in your core, you are nothing more than a lapdog. You are a sidekick. You are someone comfortable being on the sidelines, and that is not me. Excuse me, Mr. Regal, what just happened between Adam and Kyle? What's happened is everything is completely out of control, and hopefully the police officers drop their charges, because nothing is going to stop them destroying each other. solution to that situation. Thank you. Gentlemen, thank you for joining me here tonight. Now, it's obvious that the situation between the two of you has got out of control, has reached boiling point. In fact, I've got a bloody police involved. And I will not have you embarrass this company that so many people have worked so hard to create. What I have here is a solution to this situation. This is a contract for Kyle O'Reilly to face Adam Cole in the co-main 
main event of Stand and Deliver. This match can only take place when you have both signed this contract and you acknowledge that NXT is not accountable for anything that happens to both of you. Let me explain something to you, you little punk. You know deep down in your heart you are jealous. You are jealous of me.